Hey everyone, welcome back to our Gaming Game Tuna here, and today I've got a new game for you guys here on the channel. It's called Home Wars. Home Wars is essentially a army, uh, like the Toy Story army kind of thing you'd see against uh, bugs. I, I almost said ants because that's kind of what we see at the beginning, but we see ants and mosquitoes. Anyway, um, there came a new, uh, there there is a new update today. Uh, one, version one point zero zero seven, I believe. Uh, the dev team pretty much is knocking out patches every day, and I gotta give a shout out to them. Um, Intense or Insane, in, I think the company's called Insane Dream. I, it loads up on the screen. Um, we're going to be doing a new playthrough. I did kind of start a campaign earlier, but then this update changes a couple of things, especially the very early game. Um, one of the things they added was this new box over here, giving you fresh abundance, rotten food, and high protein food. Essentially the three resources for the enemy. Um, aside from that, this is, remains the same, the 360. The enemy's health I have changed down a bit, just because the early game, it is not doable if you don't. Uh, there's three, uh, there's, sorry, four different homes. The home sweet home, the double hallway, the verandas be uh, breach, and the bridge. The bridge is probably one of the more interesting ones to me, just because of the continuous fight. Um, but aside from that, there will also be, I like the home just because it's a very cool uh, starter place. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll do a turn every day, 2017. And, you know, quick description of the house. It's great for apparently a perfect one-child family. So, you know, there's that. Uh, like I said, nothing's being changed other than the 70 health and attack. Let's go ahead and start the game. So, uh, like I said, it's essentially a toy soldier game. Uh, you essentially have to fight the bugs. Uh, you have different units. And one of the reasons that I'm starting the campaign, again, is because the huge change they made. And it might not be a lot, but you get 200 XP. EXP is uh, pretty important. Go ahead and go read this if you'd like. This is giving you a quick uh, what you need to do. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. We're going to go ahead and let's start from the basics. So we got a headquarters. And in our headquarters, we have different resources. Our resources available to us are plastic, metal, batteries, barrels, and uh, toxic and incendiary barrels, and experience. Um, rough plastic, rough chem um, metal, chemical, incendiary, and toxic are the materials available to us that we produce into those refined materials, which we have to do here at our headquarters. First things first, let's build a plastic factory. It'll cost us 600 uh, plastic and 50 metal. It'll cost four batteries per turn. Effects, it creates 600 uh, plastic per turn, consuming 30 raw plastic, and it consumes four batteries. Let's go ahead and build two of these real quick. Getting this set up early game will be a strong factor in our survivability. Let's go ahead and knock that out real quick, and uh, probably next year we'll build another uh, metal factory. Perhaps uh, look at making something else, but for now that is all right. So that kind of wastes all of our uh, plastic. We do have some metal and some batteries, but we won't be really using that. We do have an intelligence intelligence screen, which myself I'm still deciphering. Uh, I won't get too much into depth with this, but I can kind of keep track of what uh, enemies they have, so what units they have available to them. Um, but I'm going to close this management screen. Sorry about that, one second. It glitches out a little. Wait, am I in? Yeah, I can move, okay. So, uh, space, shift, uh, WASD, and if you hold middle mouse, you can turn the camera. The only thing I would ask the developers, if you guys ever do see this, uh, please, please, please make it right click. Do the camera movement instead of middle mouse button. Number one, it'd be easier. Number two, if someone playing on a laptop might not be able to do this. Um, just a quick thought. And another one that, uh, you know, if anyone was willing to listen uh, out there, Tab would be a great button to open up this menu. Just a wild thought. This menu doesn't up any uh, open up the intelligence, but uh, yeah, I don't really know uh, much of that. Uh, aside from that, we can go into create a new army. We can do infantry. We've got artillery. We've got air force vehicles. I think a better representation of all that would be over here in our unlock screen, which is in depth. Like it is crazy in depth. Like I am talking. This is crazy, guys. Um. First thing we're going to do by default is unlock the supply truck. And I won't unlock this because it costs 100, uh, but we will go ahead and unlock the sapper. And I believe the rifleman. So we'll get the rifleman and the sapper. So let's go ahead and talk about the units that I just went ahead and unlocked. Uh, the rifleman. Uh, rifleman is essentially just our basic infantry unit. Uh, the upgraded version just has a little more health as well as a longer range, I believe. We can actually check that here in a moment. Our recruitment, infantry, light infantry, 100. 120, cost 4 battle points, same visual range, just cost a little more in, uh, unit, in uh, ammo. Not much of a difference then, uh, what we would really see is if we got the Assault Trooper, which has a shotgun. That is all I know, the, 
the heavy riflemen as well as machine gunners, you know, marksmen, anti-aircraft, etc., etc. So like I said, it gets very crazy. Let's go ahead and talk about the supply truck. The supply truck, supply truck can heal our units as well as give them ammunition. Um, very important for any battle, no matter where you go. Um, the sapper is a starting kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, like base builder kind of thing. Uh, these guys can put down uh, different traps, different air mines, you know. And at the end of the battle, they're also able to destroy the enemy's base. So very useful, very powerful. Um, probably won't make a lot of them. They are good towards the later game, I've noticed. But uh, early game, really, you just need one or two to make sure you can blow up the headquarters. Let's go ahead and close this management panel. Let's go ahead and end the day. So as you can see, everything is currently uncaptured. Um, let's go ahead and actually make a... Huh, what can we make? Can we build anything over here? I'm thinking another plastic just to get a lot of plastics going early game. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. We'll have a little extra in our plastic, which is fine because we're going to go ahead and uh, check. We're currently losing 90 rough plastic per turn. To alleviate some of that, we're going to go ahead and do a little something a bit cheaty, I guess. We're going to create one infantry unit, create the army, and as you saw there, the army just got moved and spawned into our first flag. This is our default flag. Any units that we produce will go here. And uh, that counts as a movement, technically. Each unit has one movement, so we won't be able to move. As you can see on the top screen, movement falls. But it means that we capture this uh, node. You can call them nodes, flags, whatever you like. Um, but my point here is that this node is giving us 30 rough plastic and 5 metal, which is allevi alleviating some of that a negative that we had. Um, something we still have to look into is producing some more uh, rough plastic. But we'll be all right for now. I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. Not much to do in these first two, three turns. As you saw there, the enemy did something very similar. I can't tell how many bucks he has. Um, for some reason, I can see how much food he has. Okay, let's go ahead and back into our headquarters real quick. Let's build a metal factory real quick. How much would this cost? Yes. How long until I can build a power station? That would actually cost us 40. All right, let's do something uh, to, okay, let's see what we can do. We do have a market available to us. Um, let's go ahead and sell some of these batteries and the whatnot. Let's go ahead and sell these uh, five. So I think it was alt. Uh, alt, yeah. Wow, that's actually a lot. Um, Probably don't need that many. 500, how many, um, how much metal can I get? Actually a good bit. That's not what I meant. Reset. I hate that you can't erase things. You can only um go with what you've already set. I, I don't like that. You don't have to reset the whole thing. Eh, not too happy about that, honestly. I think we only needed 20. How much did we need for the battery station? Uh, we would need 40, and then we would need another 20. So we need uh, we need 40, essentially. We need to buy 40 uh, of that. And I don't really know if we'll even get to this. So let's go, go ahead and just focus on getting this going. I'd like to have the resources early game and then focus on worrying about the other stuff later. So one more. Purchase as much of these as we can. That's perfect. Close the deal. It says I could buy 40, so let's go ahead and buy a battery or something. I don't know. Um, let's get some rough plastic, maybe? Let's get some metal, actually. That's not a bad idea. As many as we can get. That's fine. Close the deal. What I've noticed, though, is that if you close a deal with extra points, they don't do anything. They just disappear off the face of the earth. So you may want to go ahead and use them as much as you can. So let's go ahead and build this uh, power station. Power station will produce some batteries per turn, consuming some of our chemical material. Bam. And let's build a metal factory. Again, this produces 10 refined metal, and it costs us rough metal of 10. Costs 5 batteries per turn. Perfectly fine. How are we doing up here? We're still losing 30 uh, rough plastic per turn, 15 rough metal. We're actually kind of balanced right now with the chemical material, so we won't lose, we won't gain each turn. Now that we can go ahead and move this guy, let's go ahead and move him over here. This flag, we'll go ahead and change this real quick. You'll see a change. There you go. So now we're actually producing extra materials in rough incendiary. Uh, we're actually losing some rough metal, which is all right. That's not too bad. Um, hmm. I don't think I can build anything because I'm out of metal. So let's go ahead and just make a couple more units just to have on the field to be able to capture a couple of things early game. Let's go ahead and uh, add unit, drop. Um, let's make a couple more. Um, add unit, drop. Just going to spam a couple of these guys. Sadly, you cannot split up an army once you've made it. You can combine them, but you cannot make a new army. I'm not a big fan of it, but it is what it is. Let's see what the enemy does this turn. They produce another unit. Again, I can't really tell accurately 
Unless this is telling me that they've got 18 groups up here. FF 72 plus 39, 72 plus 39 divided by 2. FF field force? I don't know. I might have to look into that at some point. Never really got curious enough. There is a manual, but this thing is... Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and leave that alone. You're welcome to go through that. It's a pretty cool thing. It's got some very interesting information on it. But I'll pass. Let's come over to the bedroom. Let's see how we're doing over here. And that is with our resources from this note included in there. So we're just shy of uh, making rough metals. We're pretty good on everything else. I'm going to move all of these units over here. Sadly, you cannot highlight units once you're in this screen. You can if you're in battle, though, which is pretty cool. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just hold down as many flags as we can early game. Um, let's go ahead and come back into here. Um, I'm thinking we're going to build a... Hmm. I want to build a military academy, actually. Mil military ca oh, I can't. Hmm. Oh, let's do one more metal factory, then. Metal factory. Bam. And I should be able to actually know this costs 50. Huh. Could make another metal factory, ironically. Yeah, but we're actually shy on metal, so we're going to skip that for now. I'm going to go ahead and save our... Actually, let's go ahead and make a full army real quick. So let's go ahead and get a proper army going. Let's get a supply truck. Let's do two. Let's do some one sapper just to have. And then just a full army of infantrymen. I don't know how many I can afford, but I'm going to throw in as many as I can. You don't have enough resources. What if I change that out and I make a full supply truck? Two, I mean, not a full supply truck. Two of those, one sapper, and just all riflemen. Because really what I'm trying to go here for here is early numbers. Perfect. Um, that will actually do. Let's actually move you and put in there for the riflemen. And eventually have these all traded out to riflemen. And just use these guys as cannon fodder late game if we have to. Go and drop that army. Now we should have a movement speed. No, we already used them. Okay. We should be able to move you next turn. Okay. So let's go ahead and end the day then. Of course he is doing just the same as we are. He is moving around trying to capture some stuff. Um, let's go ahead and move these over there. Let's move you over here. I'm really curious how many units that is, so you know we have to go poke at that. Let's bring out this army over here. Alright, so they've got 32 bugs. Now keep in mind though, it might say it has 32 bugs, but the way they work is they come in groupings. Oh, come on, let me select it. Stop being so... No, no, no. Cancel. Oh, for goodness gracious. Oh, this is getting silly game. Yes, there we go. Okay, that took me a lifetime. So, yes, it says there's six, 18, but notice that there's a G next to it. That means groups. There's 18 groups of 14 for the mosquitoes, and there's 14 groups of 20 for the ants. Um, the mosquitoes are essentially, think of them as healers. Uh, it says it in there. Uh, the only advantage is that every time he hits an ally, he restores his health. So, like I said, they are really just healers. Um, they're annoying, and they're, they fly. So, that's kind of why I don't like them personally. But they're not too hard to deal with. So they're, they're bearable as far as that goes. Um, let's go ahead and come back here to our headquarters. Go ahead and build a plastics factory again. I want to be able to pump out some early game units. Um, from there, we're going to save some of this stuff to make a full army next. Or sorry, a military. The military academy will produce points for us to unlock further units, to unlock bonuses from our um, general area. Uh, what else? We can also unlock aircraft, which I think is amazing. Um... Recon vehicle is actually, I've tried it out, it's actually really not that bad. But the first unit I'm probably going to rush is over here, the machine gunner. He is relatively cheap as far as it goes, and he can put down some fire. Like, I'm talking, they can burn through enemies. So, uh, that's probably where we're going to go after soon. I might make a marksman just to kind of have on the field. I've never tried the guys out, but uh, we've got plenty to worry about. We've got an ally unit in the enemy territory, that's what it was telling us up there. You can't move. You can't move. You can. Let's go ahead and just hold down this area for now. Um, I don't really care if he captures the other ones. Let's go ahead and end the day. I had a feeling he'd be moving. See, now that he left this, though, it means that I can go ahead and attack, walk over, because there's not a single enemy defending that. And he should be able to hold out for another two turns. Um, this guy over here. No, there's a unit there. So let's pull you back. Um, if it'll let me. 
Okay, let's pull you back. Even though they're single units, they can make a difference, by the way. Um, okay, let's go ahead and defend this. So this is going to be our first battle, so uh, make sure to keep this in. Let's go ahead and start this out. We'll be right back. All right, so welcome to our uh, battle screen. Um, any side that you see in green is a deployment area for us. The enemy only has one because we're technically defending a uh, point that has three of our uh, flags. Or sorry, guys. Uh, each flag has three points to it. There was a little pie chart at the beginning of the um, mode. Sorry about that. I had to take a drink of water. Um, my throat was killing me. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so essentially, uh, this game mode because we only had uh, we had three points out of the uh, flag. It means that we're defending in this mode, meaning that the enemy has a little outpost that we have to kill. Similar to us, if we go do that, uh, we would have a uh, outpost to defend. Let's go ahead and deploy two supply trucks. Yes, right here, actually. Um, from there, we'll deploy the sapper, just to have him in the back. And I'll deploy some uh, light infantry. Actually, let's deploy our one rifleman. And you can place these guys wherever. I'm really going to place them together because I want them to be able to move quickly. I actually don't have enough units to... Uh... Yeah, we've got 34 out of 45 max deployed. So we're a little bit shy of maximum units, which is... Alright, we'll be fine. I hope. Here we go, then. Okay, when I hit start battle, the battle will begin. As you can see, I have a timer up top. That tells me how long I have left. Or no, I'll actually keep you there and there. Let's get our sapper over here with them. He is going to, I'm going to have him put some barbed wire just to kind of defend our units. See, usually this guy you wouldn't unlock until a bit later. The fact that they added that extra XP is, it's huge. It's definitely making a difference. Um, let's actually move you over there. Let's have you right there. All right, we seem to be doing all right. Uh, really, we're playing the defensive game here just because I don't think we need to. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's have you shoot at closest target. All right, here we go. Now they're going to go through and shoot pretty much anything out of the sky. As you can see, they're holding out. They're slowly pushing in, getting closer, which makes them a bit uncomfortable, but we should be okay. Especially if they focus the uh, damned mosquitoes. All right, contact. All right, we seem to be doing all right. You can, of course, go into first-person mode, which I'll go ahead and do real quick. Woo! Damn you, bugs! Ah! No, stop it. Yeah, man, this barbed wire was a good idea. They're definitely taking some damage from it, meaning that our units can focus more on the air targets. Oh no, we've got a man down. We might be unnumbered here, big time. Alright, let's go ahead and let them control that. Okay, yeah, we've lost one of those. We've lost one ally. If we start taking too many, uh... If we, okay, we've got another man down. Okay, I'm going to have to start looking at retreating then. That being said, though, they're definitely taking uh, some casualties. If we reach 10, I'll pull us out. All right, let's get out. Yeah, 246. Crap, 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 crap. I am sacrificing them. Um, yeah, no, we need to pull out. We need to pull out. Uh, back to home. Yes, let the enemy win the battle. I know, they won. Uh, it is what it is. I thought we could take them on, but um, there were just too many of them. We didn't have the max number of units. Uh, we were definitely pushing them back. Though. You can see there that our, our units were definitely holding their ground quite well. Um, the Sapper did 7,100 damage. That kind of there was one guy with all those traps. Our Rifleman did 13,000. I should have put some more uh, barbed wire as traps. Um, there is a small glitch in the game where, yes, you can do this, where you can have, like, attack um, the bugs, uh, even though we just did a defend. I don't know, it's slightly broken there. It's going to do another full army, so we're going to do supply trucks. One, two, we'll do one um, sapper and fill it up with just riflemen. Not much of a difference between them and the light riflemen, as you saw. But for an extra 10 plastic, which we have a good bit of, we can get a good amount of uh, units. So I'm going to go ahead and create that army. I'm going to make one that's going to be slightly different. I'll only make one supply truck for it. And I'll do one sapper. And then just half an army of just riflemen. Now, before I click that, though, I want to make sure that I have enough resources to build what I want. Uh, we were going to build that military academy. 
It's going to cost me a thousand. Huh. How about this? Let's go back. Let's sell some of those incendiary barrels at the market. Sell one. See where that gets us. Oh, come on. All right. This might take a bit then. Let's do it by tens then. Oh, come on. Well, let's sell. We're actually losing batteries just to barely. So let's actually cancel this. Um, how much would it take to build another power station? 640, we can do that actually. And still get our army out on the field. Let's do that before we hit uh, end day. Okay, so close the management. I'm going to let them not. I'm not going to attack them this turn because I'm going to wait for my army to move over there. There we go. I had a feeling he'd move back there and defend that. Um, they got pretty hurt in that battle. It's going to move both of these guys back here into the field. Uh, we don't really need you out there. Actually, no. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, crap. I need to check how many units there were. Come on. Come on. Thank you. How many are you attacking with? 32. That's fine. Um, before we deploy anything, I want to make sure that we actually build that uh, military academy this turn. It's going to build it. It'll decrease how many uh, metals we produce because it consumes some metals. But it'll produce XP, which is pretty powerful uh, resource in the game. I think we're doing pretty good on plastic. We're doing great, actually, on metal. Um, we may actually look at building another one of these next turn. But for now, we can go ahead and close this panel and make another army. So let's go ahead and do vehicles, supply truck, two, with a... It's going to make a rifleman. Let's go ahead and make a couple of... So uh, by making a quick unit, it allows us to have more units in the field. Plus, we can protect ourselves a little better, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the army. And I, I mean drop, I mean create, just so you guys know about that. We may lose this one, which is all right. We're still producing resources counting that we still have this one. Uh, we'll lose it sooner rather than later, sadly. But uh, we have enough field uh, units on the field now. We've got, I think, these 30, plus there's another 30 in here somewhere. Wow, seven. I was actually combined that seven. And you can right-click two armies, and you can uh, merge them together. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Here we go. One and 22. Let's go ahead and move you over. Thank you. One. Oh, other way. Thank you. It's actually not too bad on understanding where you want the unit to go. Um, I think it might be just which one you highlight first. One and 25. Yeah, it's whichever one you uh, highlight first and then right click on. Right click on is send to essentially. All right, so there's a 26, there's a 30 and a 30. So we've got about 86 units plus this one, 87 units on the field. Um, admittedly, they're not all combat. We've got a couple of trucks out there, which is great. Uh, I wanted to make sure we came in here and just checked out the uh, caliber. Uh, this is our basic caliber that most of our assault men will use. Um, we're actually at 28,000. We started with, I think, 30, 40,000. Uh, it's not too expensive to buy. Uh, 10,000 units will last us a good bit. And that'll only cost us uh, 10 plastics. Let's go ahead and get a couple of those to make sure we're good. Because I have had uh, like battles in the past where I go in, guns ablaze, and then they start spamming out of ammo. So that can't happen. Keep that in mind, guys. But anyway, that's going to be it for our first episode of Home Wars. If you guys enjoyed this, then make sure to hit the uh, thumbs up button. Let's be you guys want to see some more of Home Wars. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you would like to con continue uh, supporting the series as well as helping me out with YouTube algorithms. <laughs> If you have any strategies or any units you want me to rush or anything you want me to do specifically in this campaign, by all means, drop them in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.